and welcome to our time of prayer and meditation and worship on the second Sunday in Lent. I hope you all had a good week, and I'm glad that you've joined me this day for a time of meditation and reflection. And I invite you now to share with me our call to worship. You have heard the law of Moses say, Love your neighbor, hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. In that way, you'll be acting as true children of your Father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good. And he sends rain to the just and the unjust. From Matthew chapter 5. And this day as we gather in this time, we share a word of welcome, a word of greeting, a word of well-being, and a word of peace. It is the Hebrew word shalom, the word that was first uttered by Christ when he arose from the grave to greet those who had come to mourn. So we share together that presence, that peace, that well-being. Shalom. Shalom in Christ. And we pray that that Shalom of Christ be with us in this time of conflict, war, pandemic, that that Shalom overcomes the evil of these days. The candles lit to remind us that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never put it out. Amen. As we gather this day for worship, I invite you now to share with me our prayer of preparation. Let us pray together. Holy Father, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee, we bow before thee in prayer, bringing our desires and hopes before thy throne. Your power and glory can wake a nation and change the course of time. Be there for your children crying in the wilderness. Strengthen us to do thy will in every moment, in every situation. Dispense your angels to be with us and your love, guard, guide, and protect us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, this is our prayer. Amen.
as we gather this day, I am reading the lesson, the book of Ruth, chapter 1. It says this, But Ruth said, Do not press me to leave you or to turn back from following you. Where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. There I will be buried. May the Lord do thus, and so to me, and more as well, even if death parts me from you. When Naomi saw that she was determined to go with her, she said no more. So the two of them went on until they came to Bethlehem. May God add blessings to the reading of this written word and bring blessings to those who hear the word and live the word. Amen. The story as we celebrate Women's History Month is probably the most important story in the Christian tradition, without us even realizing it. Also, one of the most important stories in the Jewish tradition, because it tells of something unique happening in that moment, in time and place, so many years ago. There was this woman named Naomi, who left her country, Israel, the Promised Land, and journeyed. And there her sons married Moabite women. That is very simply foreigners, outsiders of the Jewish faith and tradition. At some point, her husband and the two sons died. And Naomi, being concerned about the two daughters, laws, said, you may go back to your own people and again, Hopefully we marry. But Ruth says this. Do not press me to leave you or turn back from you. Where I go, where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. I will bury there. That simple statement changed history, affected history, in ways we think we don't really realize today because it's one of the minor chapters, supposedly, one of the minor books in the Hebrew text. But those words changed history because you will notice that Naomi and Ruth went back to Naomi's hometown of Bethlehem. And that is the site in which all changes in Jewish history and in Christian history. That Naomi meets Boaz, I'm sorry, Ruth meets Boaz, they get married. Their children and grandchildren produce a man called David. David becomes the true and great king of Israel when Saul passes away. He's the great and mighty leader of Israel who brings it to its greatness. He is literally the Messiah, the chosen one, anointed by God to lead the people. Ruth is his ancestor. And without her coming back with Naomi, and understanding the story we read in the book of Ruth, this would not have happened. In the fullness of time, because of Ruth and Naomi, something happens that causes a great miracle for us who call ourselves Christians. The ancestor of Ruth 
our great, great, great grandson, if you will, is Jesus. His forebearer were Naomi and Ruth. That he is the one who becomes the Messiah for us of our faith, the anointed one of God's incarnation that comes to us in living form so that God can experience our humanity to experience what it's like to be us. And that story so long ago begins that narrative, that experience. In one sense, to, for today, if Ruth had not done what Naomi did some three or four thousand years ago, we would not be having this worship this day. And so on this Women's History Month, we celebrate the role and work of women in our lives, from mothers, to teachers, to nurses, to doctors, lawyers, politicians. And it all goes back, in a sense, for us as believers to Ruth. Her great desire and love for her mother-in-law to go together. May that love that presence inspire us and guide us and give us hope, faith, and love as we share with each other the good news of faith. May that good news be ours today in these troubled times, that where we go, God goes with us. Where we lodge, God is there for us. That God is our God, the Lord, and that Christ, our God, is our Savior. And the Holy Spirit, our God, is within us to give us strength and well-being and courage. And that when we pass, we do not pass alone. We share our faith that there is Jesus to greet us. May God bless you and keep you this day. And may the light that shines for us, the light of Christ, shine, remind us, that light shines back all the way to Ruth and Naomi. God bless you and God keep you. Amen. When I'm lost in the rain, in your eyes I know I'll find the light to light my way. When I'm scared of losing ground When my world is going crazy You can turn it all around And when I'm down you're there Pushing me to the top You're always there giving me all you got For a shield from the storm For a friend For a love to keep me safe and warm turn to you for the strength to be strong for the will to carry on for everything you do for everything that's true i turn to you when i lose the will to win i just reach for you and i can reach the sky again i can do anything cause your love is so amazing cause your love inspires me and when I need a friend you're always on my side giving me faith to get me through the night for a shield from the storm for a friend for a love to keep me safe and warm I turn to you for the strength to be strong, for the will to carry on, for everything you do, I turn to you. For the arms to be my shelter through all the rain, for truth that will never change, for someone to lean on, for a heart I can rely on through anything, for the one who I can run. 
for a shield from the storm, for a friend, for a love to keep me safe and warm. I turn to you for the strength to be strong, for the will to carry on, for everything you do, for everything that's true, for everything you do, for everything that's true, I turn to you. gather for prayer this day for the pastoral prayer, I invite you to offer up your prayers and your concerns unto God. Let us pray. Gracious God, the God who created us in your image, female and male, we come to you this day asking your presence to be with us and within us and through us to grant us strength, hope, help, love, patience, and peace. We pray this day, O oh God, for a world of conflict. We pray for the Ukraine and the Ukrainian people. And we pray for the Russian people, that they will understand the conflict and wish and desire to withdraw from it. Grant your peace to those who are in conflict and strengthen them who feel isolated and lost to be their help and hope. And on this Women's Month, we lift up the memory of Ruth, who is a mother to all of us who are Jewish and Christians, whose being has stirred our being. We give thanks for the women who have touched our lives. We give prayer for those who have been with us to be guides, friends, mentors, hope givers. We pray this day for those who need a prayer of restoration, of healing, of hope. We pray that as the COVID infection declines, we'll be strengthened and look again to gather together in your presence and worship each Sunday. I ask your presence to be with us, your spirit to be within us, and Christ's arm to gather us and walk with us. Bless us and keep us. This we ask in Christ's name this day. Amen. As we gather this day, I invite you now to share with me the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power of and the glory forever. Amen. I'm glad you could join with me this day. I hope you put your clocks an hour ahead this day. And I pray that God's presence be with you and guide you this coming week. I thank you and that we look forward to a time together again. Take care and God bless and be with you. And as we close, let us share together our benediction. As it says in Matthew's Gospel, Give your gifts in secret, 
and your Father who knows all secrets will reward you. Go in peace. Amen. Thank you.